In this video, we're going to look at two different methods that are used uh, to record partial depreciation uh, when an asset is purchased uh, during the year. In our problem, we have a company that makes a purchase of a piece of machinery uh, in October. They are a fiscal year reporter, so their year ending is the December 31st. So first, let's figure out the depreciation for this piece of machinery. We're told the machinery costs us $115,000. we are going to use it, we believe, for five years. And at the end of five years, we believe the salvage value will be 5000 So we can use the Excel formula, uh, SLN, that we find under the financial formulas to quickly calculate our straight line depreciation. So we'll reference our cell that has the cost, salvage value, useful life, and we have an annual depreciation of $22,000 per year. The first method we're going to lose, look at is the half-year convention. In the half-year convention, even though our useful life is five years, we're going to record depreciation over a six-year period. The theory behind the half-year convention is that we will recognize half of the annual depreciation in the first year and the other half in the sixth year. So in year one, we have half a year's depreciation. In year six, we have half of the year's depreciation. And the remaining years, the other four years in the middle, will have depreciation of 22000 the full annual rate. So whether we bought the piece of equipment on October 1st or January 15th, or December 30th, for year one, we would take half the depreciation. Over the course of the six years, we would have accumulated depreciation of 110%, which is the cost minus the salvage value, so this asset will be fully depreciated. An alternative to the Half-year convention is the partial years method. And we begin the same way by calculating the typical straight line depreciation. That will give us an annual depreciation of 22,000. In this example, we place the asset into service on October 1st. So we'll have like October, November, December. So we'll have three months in service in year number one. We should perform the percentage. Let's do that. So let's build our formula uh, for the partial year. In year one, we will take our annual depreciation and multiply it by the three months divided by the number of months in the year, 312, so one quarter, and we'll recognize depreciation of 5,500. In each of the succeeding years, for 2000, 14 through 2017, we will recognize depreciation for the full annual depreciation of 22,000. At the end of 2017, we have a balance in our accumulated depreciation of 93,500. Well, we need to take it to the full depreciable amount of 110,000. So in 2018, we'll have this asset in service for nine years, for nine months, excuse me. So the depreciation for 2018 is going to be the annual depreciation times the 
number of months in service divided by 12 or 16,500 now at the end of 2018 our accumulated depreciation will be the opening balance of 93,500 plus the partial year of 16,500 and that brings us to our full depreciation of 110,000.